Hello everybody and welcome to another lesson on soundproofing and room acoustics. Today we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of using concrete masonry units or CMU concrete block walls for the external structure of your home recording studio versus just a double stud wall with drywall on both sides. And this is a good question that someone from our community in the YouTube community asked in the comments and I decided to revisit it and make another video on it because I feel like it's something that comes up a lot and people are wondering about. So I wanted to give you guys a detailed comparison going over all the pros and cons of each system. My name is Wilson Harwood and I am a acoustician and studio designer based in Nashville, Tennessee. And I'm here just to teach you everything I know about how to build soundproof rooms and home recording studios. For those of you who haven't checked it out yet, check out my free soundproofing workshop. It's 30 minutes of in-depth in teaching going over how to build a soundproof home recording studio in your backyard, your basement, or your garage. All right, let's dive in to the pros and cons of using concrete masonry unit block walls versus stud walls. So just to be clear on what we're comparing, let's talk about that first. A concrete block wall is typically built with concrete masonry units, and I like to fill mine with sand to make them that much more heavy and dense at stopping sound. The alternative is a double stud wall, which is our typical double stud wall in home recording studios that I use all the time, which is usually a two by four wall with a one inch air gap and then another two by four wall with a with uh, insulation in both walls. So R13 fiberglass in both walls and then two layers of 5 8 inch drywall on one side and the equivalent or two layers of 5 8 inch drywall on the other side. If it's an exterior wall, typically we use a siding or two layers of 3 quarter inch OSB uh, to get the same amount of mass as we would on our interior wall. So that's what we're comparing just so that you have that in your mind. So let's go over the pros of using concrete masonry units or block walls in your home recording studio. First, your CMU wall will have high mass, especially with that sand filled middle point. Uh, that is going to make your wall extremely heavy. So right off the bat, your low frequency uh, ability to stop low frequency sound like in the 20 hertz range is going to be much higher than our stud wall. It doesn't mean that overall your soundproofing is going to be a million times better. It just really means that that low frequency range is going to be better than the stud wall. The durability and longevity of that wall is going to be better. So for fire resistance, pest control, all those things are going to make it a lot better than your typical stud wall. Security is going to be better. I mean, let's face it, breaking down a super solid concrete wall is going to be a lot harder than a stud wall. However, I don't think many people are going to be drilling through your stud wall to steal all your gear, but you never know. That's up to you to decide. And this is a big one for places like Florida, where I've designed several studios. A concrete CMU wall can be really good for hurricane resistance and weather and fire danger if you're in a prone, fire prone area. And let's be honest, it looks like the weather is getting worse as time goes on. So this is something I would definitely consider. Lastly, you have a finished product when it's already done. So your exterior is finished. You could just simply paint it. Um, you could leave it as an industrial look or stucco it and get even more mass on the outside of your building. Now let's go over the cons of using concrete block. So the CMU is relatively cheap per block, but the labor to build it is much higher. So you have to factor that in versus your stud wall. The bare CMU wall is going to be very reflective and a single wall is never good. No matter how heavy it is, it's never going to be as good as two walls because you have that decoupling and the air gap in between. So in all of my CMU studios, I always build a two by four wall with a one inch air gap after it anyways. So you're still losing space and you're still going to need that inner wall no matter what. So part of me is like, that's definitely a con of building with CMU. The thermal performance of a CMU wall on its own is not good, so the R value is not very good. Now with the sand filled uh, block wall like I recommended, I'm pretty sure your R value will increase, but you're still going to want to have to factor that in to meet codes for your exterior wall, which again means adding insulation on the inside and another 2x4 wall. There are some retrofit challenges like running, cabling, um, electrical 
uh, HVAC, all that stuff through a CMU wall, especially a sand filled CMU wall will be more challenging than just running it through a typical stud wall. Lastly, construction time, the CMU wall will typically take longer than a typical stud wall. And so that should be factored into your total cost of the project, again, leading to increased labor costs overall. Now let's look at the cost comparison, which is probably what most of you are interested in. So again, this is just a general uh, analysis. Uh, labor markets and cost per materials vary around the world and the United States. So you will need to do this in-depth knowledge yourself, but this can give you a general feel for the different costs of the walls. So your double two by four wall is typically gonna be in the range of 12 to $18 per square foot. That includes labor and the total finish of the wall. Now, you also can assume that it's gonna be faster construct, so your labor speed is also a factor you wanna consider. You also have that built-in cavity for HVAC and electrical, which is kinda of nice. The CMU wall is probably around $12 to $15 per square foot, so it could potentially even be in the cheaper range. But again, you're gonna need that interior stud wall anyways, so that will be another $12 to $14 per square foot. So the total cost could be anywhere from $22 to $29 per square foot. That would lead to double the cost of just the double wall stud, stud framing that I talked about before. So right off the bat, you can tell that the cost is probably the biggest factor. However, don't forget that the immense low frequency isolation you get from the CMU wall could be favorable depending on the amount of base you're gonna need to keep out or keep in in your home recording studio. So this leads right into when the CMU wall might make sense for you. First, if you're in a hurricane or tornado area or even a place prone to forest fires, the CMU studio could definitely win because, hey, we don't want this thing to burn down and having a concrete block wall that prevents fire from getting in is going to be a huge plus for you. If you want extreme security, like I mentioned, there's nothing like a concrete block bunker to block out anyone who wants to get into your studio. If you already have a CMU wall, so in your garage, if you have an existing CMU wall, certainly use it to your advantage. There's no need to change your system. You would just put a two by four stud wall in front of that and one inch off the CMU wall. And lastly, you should use CMU if you're doing a from the ground up build and where you are in the world, it is normal to build with concrete masonry blocks or brick. This is very common in Europe, it's common in India, it's common in many parts of Asia, and the typical lumber that we see in the United States is honestly not that common in other parts of the world. So if you're in a place where concrete masonry unit or any sort of masonry wall is the norm, definitely use it. You're gonna have a benefit uh, overall with your sound isolation. Now let's talk about when the double stud wall might make more sense. If you want maximum sound isolation for the dollar, uh, definitely go with the double stud wall. This is what we use almost all the time because our clients want to maximize their budget and don't want to just spend extra to get that, you know, little bit of extra low end isolation. For most people, a double stud wall works perfectly fine. If you're building in a region where timber stud walls are the norm and it's the labor is fast and cheap, then you should definitely lean towards that over trying to overcomplicate things with a CMU wall. If you need flexibility for running electrical and HVAC through the wall, the stud wall is gonna be better for that. And if you don't need hurricane rated walls, then go with the double stud wall, it's totally fine. All right, so in conclusion, CMU walls aren't automatically better. It really depends on a lot of factors, even beyond purely isolation, that will make you decide one way or the other whether you wanna use a CMU block wall. I can tell you from experience that the studios we've done that are CMU block walls tend to be one in Florida where hurricanes are big, or where the client just really wanted to use that material and felt like the low end frequency absorption was gonna be worth it. Uh, we did one in, in Nashville here that you can see from a YouTube video several years back, and the, I think the isolation was equivalent to our double stud wall, and I do think that it was probably a little more expensive. So that kind of shows you that it might not be worth the extra money. However, I will say there's no way you can argue with the science on the low frequencies, so we're talking like sub-frequency base, um, you're gonna get better isolation with the concrete masonry unit filled with sand. There's no way around it. So if you really want to bump your music super loud and have no bass rumble whatsoever outside your studio, 
go with the concrete masonry unit because you won't regret it in the long run. All right, again, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you're going down this journey and you need that extra knowledge and help along the way, reach out to me with a soundproof clarity call. I do these every week. It's 30 minutes where I just learn about your project and see if we could be a good fit working together. To do that, just go to soundproofyourstudio.com and click on the I want some construction plans button and I'd be happy to talk with you. If you guys are still on this journey of DIYing it yourself, check out our free soundproofing workshop at soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Wilson Harwood. I'm a studio designer and acoustician based in Nashville, and I look forward to teaching you more about room acoustics and sound isolation next week. See you all later.